it's, I'm standing at the truck washout area where we can have up to three trucks simultaneously discharge. Down here is one of three buttons which when pressed will discharge a specific amount of gray water into the trucks at each one of the truck stations. If you look up above, you'll see one of three discharge pipes and these three discharge pipes put gray water into the trucks. Yes, we use gray water and we use that for a couple of reasons. Number one, to conserve fresh water or potable water. And number two, uh, gray water is actually a great way to clean out a truck. Why? There's suspended solids in the gray water and actually it causes friction on the inside of the barrel and it removes more of the cementitious product that the truck is coming back with to wash out into the trough with. This trough, of course, uh, funnels all of the uh, returned concrete into the chamber, the first chamber, which is uh, called the buffer of the Bibco 4000, which we'll see in a couple minutes when we go inside. This is one of two screws that was installed as an option for this particular producer. It's called a pump discharge conveyor, or PDC for short, and its name does exactly what it implies. It's used to clean out pumps or pump trucks uh, that have a lower discharge height and need to have something at ground level. Uh, it's a large 88 by 78 opening. You can back up dumps into this. If you have RCC, you need to clean out the truck from there, or you have a pump truck and you want to wash it out into here. This discharge screw is designed to take the material and move it up into the trough where it's handled just like any returned concrete from a ready mix truck. Now, what makes this screw unusual and very unique Bibco exclusive here is this urethane blanket underneath it. The reason they use a urethane blanket has much, much less wear and you have very close tolerances here so you can get water up this screw. You don't want water to pool down in here. You want to get all your material up into this trough. And these flights, as they wear, and they all do, it can be adjusted to maintain that tight tolerance or clearance to make sure that you can get all your material up it. I'm standing at the material discharge area. To my left is sand, to my right is stone. The screen above the sand pile here, of course, separates the sand and the stone. And above that screen is the screw, which, of course, takes all the material coming out of the Bibco 4000 deposits onto the screen. We get a really nice sand product here. Very low cementitious product here, as you can see. Really clean, very nice stuff. The producer will take this material blend it back in with their fresh sand, and then of course use all of it to make new concrete. If you come around to the other pile here with me, we'll take a look at the stone. This stone will go from this bin here and go right into the material handling system where it will be used to make new concrete. 